Ah, right, boy, I'm about to put you on game. I'm about to get out the biggest cheat code in life. I'm about to, bro, I'm about to, I'm about to get out a source in life. Bro, getting jack, getting cactus, whatever you want to call it, or getting brolic, getting hench, that's literally the ultimate life hack ever, bro. That's the cheat code as a man to living a good life. Word two. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I am not capping right now. The ultimate cheat code. A lot of people say game. A lot of people say you need money, all that. But here's the downfalls of them thing. There's no downfalls to being in shape. Here's the downfall to, you know, leading with money. When you leave with your pockets with girls, people are going to use you for your pockets. When you leave with your pockets for you know, even the interactions, these other guys are going to use you for your money. Regardless, whatever you, you leave with your pockets and friendship, they're going to use you for your pockets. You leave with your pockets and relationship, they're going to use you for your pockets. Simple as that. A lot of people say, a lot of people say, Riz, game is what you need. You don't need to be in shape. You don't need money. All you need is game. The reason that's false, I could derail that right now. You got to pass the visual test that people, that girls put you through. Even guys put people through that. They ain't about to be trying to hear you, feel me? Nah, you, you got to pass the visual test first for what you're saying to make sense after. You could literally have two of the same exact, like two guys say the same exact thing, the same exact Riz. If guy A is attractive, the girl going to fall into that. Easy. Gangsta. If guy 2 is not attractive, now he's a creep. I know you heard about that. The little the little nerd dude at the job saying exactly what freaking Mon Dejour was saying. But Mon, it's just Mon Dejour is handsome. He got that pretty privilege. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, look Tommy over here is a creep. You know what I'm saying? So I know y'all heard that. So that's why those ain't good. It's essentially no downfalls to being in shape. And also, I'm going to tell you something else. People who spend a million dollars on a Gucci t-shirt, feel me? I'm exaggerating, but people who spend a band or whatever it can be, five, six, seven hundred dollars on a, a Gucci t-shirt, LV t-shirt, Balenciaga top, Montclair jackets, all these crazy stuff. You can do what you want. But people who do that stuff would never look as good as me in a regular... Bro, I can go to Walmart, Marshalls, Target, whatever. Give me a white tee, white t-shirt. Or a black t-shirt. Or a gray one if I'm trying to go crazy. But I give me a white t-shirt. Size medium. Large. Feel me? Fit my arms properly. Shoulders filling out. Chest filling out. And wear it and look like a celebrity gang. I lie to you not. I know you see Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan wears a white t-shirt. It's raps. Gangsta. If I wear a white t-shirt that's fitted, it is raps. I can literally... Like, you won't understand this unless you jack or you have friends who are jack who can tell you this. When I walk in a room, obviously I'm tall too, so that just adds to it. But the jack is, when I walk in a room, the way people look at me, not even just girls, the way people look at me. I went to a restaurant the other day, or it was like, like two months ago, whatever. But I was some girl, whatever, so we went to a restaurant, walked in. We didn't even stay for long because it was closed. So I walked in. Walking in like this, looking around like, yeah, can I have a table for two? And they're always closing. I'm like, okay, okay. Bro, I look up, everybody's looking at me. The girls, the dudes looking at me like, who the freak is this guy? I look like a celebrity. <laughs> like, I look like a celebrity. Them. So I walk out, and the girl was like, why was everybody looking at you like that? In my head, I, in my head I'm like, are they jacking me, freak? But but I was like, um, I, was, I don't even know, honestly. People were like, oh, wow, that's crazy. I never remember a guy who, who gets that so much attention when he walks out. I was like, oh, yeah, feel me. Bro. Not only do you look more attractive, it's a sign of discipline as well. Women be like, dang, how long it take that man to get that body? Also, it is just the same thing we think when we see a girl with a, with a fat bum. A nice body, we be like, dang. Girls do the same. Girls just sneaky up, but girls do the same thing. They don't look like a freak. Especially because they ain't used to that. Because that take time to build a nice body. Bro, get jacked, bro. Like, word to him. I'm not even just chatting right now. Get jacked, bro. The same way we look at girls with nice bodies, they look at us if we have nice bodies. And this is not only just about only like being good with women right now. Nice body get the clothes you mad business deals too, because you just look disciplined. You look like if you set your mind to something, you can achieve it. That's why having a nice body shows because everybody, like 99% of the people in the world tried to go to the gym before. And like 90 something percent of people failed. 
They all tried. They know how hard it is to get that dream body. They know how hard it is to lose weight. They know how hard it is to gain muscle. They know how hard it is to get a six pack. They know how hard it is to do all that. And if you already achieved that, especially if you're young, they're like, yeah, this man is definitely disciplined. You definitely close more business deals, especially when you shake hands with these these business people. They, they just feel the aura. They're like, nah, this dude's something different for real. Then obviously, if you got money and res, oh yeah, you t you top tier. You you top tier for real. But first, I feel like the gym. The gym is the most inexpensive. It's the best ROI ever, bro. Return on interest. It's the best one ever. Because you know at the end of your gym, you're going to look right. It's like inevitable. You're going to look good. And don't take that long. If you're going crazy, it can be three to nine months. If you're, going, if you're doing what you got to do, three to nine months. Depending on how hard you're going, you can make a whole shift. A whole shift in how you look. Bro, go to the gym. Get jacked. That joint, like the way people look at me, when they see I'm jacked, like I'll be in the same room with a jacket on, you know, it was just one at a time, you know, whatever, whatever, a few months ago, making content in New York, whatever, whatever, feel me, it's cold, I got a jacket on, I, I got to change jackets or whatever, we doing a skit, whatever, I got to change jacket, I take my jacket off and I got a regular shirt on and the same people that was already there, looking at me like, yeah, cute, but not really paying too much mind, as soon as they see me take my wisdom off and see I'm jacked. My jacket over here, I'm jacked. They like, the freak for the guy. And you can just tell, like, it, it's so crazy. It literally turns you into a celebrity. I guess because not a lot of guys. I guess a celebrity is technically someone who's known, right? Which not a lot of people are known. So, so in other sense, the same reaction that people give celebrities. Because, well, celebrity is a person who's rare, who's... Not a lot of people are doing what they're doing. Not a, lot of people have, not a lot of people have the clout that they have, right? So it's just about being rare. If everybody was celebrities, it wouldn't really be that rare. You know what I'm saying? So I guess it being so rare is what makes people react a certain way. So in other words, if you got a nice physique and not a lot of people have that and it's very rare, it basically makes you a celebrity. You get what I'm saying? The, the same reactions come across because it's rare. And the only reason celebrities are important because it's rare. To see a celebrity. That's why people go crazy. It's rare to see a man with a nice body and shape. That is why. You know what I'm saying? People feel me? Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie. But you can go to Target easily. Get a feel me? A, a, a black tee. That's it. Black tee shirt, some shorts for your legs, right? That's it, bro. Some sneakers. Bro, you chilling. Literally, you chilling. And you're, you're gonna look... More expensive, your fit gonna look way better. You're gonna look more attractive than dudes spending a million dollars on all the designer Balenciaga boots and all types of Yeezy joints. They wildin', bro. You're gonna look way more attractive than them. And uh, I'm I'm gonna put you on game as well. Chico, y'all could do. I mean, especially if you're gonna shape it so easy now, but if you're not, you can still do it. Bro, go to Target. Go to Target with a team top on. If, if you're in shape, go to Target with a team top on. And be like shopping for little shirts, the black shirts or whatever. And when you see a girl that's attractive, go talk to them. Bro, the biddies be at ShopRite, you heard? The biddies be at Target. Definitely Target, I ain't gonna lie. But the biddies be at Target. The biddies be at Walmart, all that. Go there, bro. I'm telling you. They gonna be jacking you, bro. Word. Definitely do that. <laughs> Get jacked, bro. If y'all got any questions about how to get Jack, bro, DM me on Instagram. It's underscore Mondejo. M-O-N-D-E-J-O-U-R. You can comment my video. You can email me, whatever. My email is H at gmail.com. So M-O-N-D-E-J-O-U-R-H at gmail. Bro, I got y'all, bro. I'll teach y'all how to get Jack, bro. Word too. And you can be fun like a celebrity too. The joint, the sauce is crazy. All right, but remember, become desirable.